everybody and welcome to Lowell's Christmas 2022. I hope everybody had a blessed and happy Thanksgiving and I hope Christmas is even better if Thanksgiving wasn't good. But you know what? Let's try to make the best of it and have a good Christmas season. Let's get started. So Lowe's, so Lowe's has all of these crazy, crazy cool outside decor. Most of the stuff in the store is outside decor, but they do have a few things for inside of the house. But I'm telling you, I haven't seen anybody top the outside decor that they have. They have huge things. They have a lot of inflatables. Also, what I want to make a little impressive note is that I want to do the Christmas trees and the huge inflatables in a separate video. The video is going to be very short. It's just this one was already long, so I want to just hurry up and just cut it so I can move on. So all the Christmas trees, all the real trees that they have, and all the inflatables will be in the second video. And I'm going to post that right away. It's short. I'm not even going to be doing narration on that. I'm just going to play the music so you can see the trees, see what you want to get, and see the inflatables. Some are so big they had to be outside. So I just split that up. Just a tiny video, and I'm putting that right up right away. But I will say that they had the cutest decor in here and I remember when I first went in here it was like the end of September and it was so cute I, we, I just happened to run in there because I needed spray paint and then we were in there I was in there with my sisters and they were like come look at this come look at this it was so cute they had the cutest things and they had some other things I couldn't get because it was a lot of people coming in but it was just they just they really do have nice stuff and I noticed the prices are not bad at all I was so surprised at how affordable in my opinion they are like some of the stuff I expected it would be in the like 200s and 300s and 400s the inflatables they weren't all that expensive either so i really do think this is a good place to go if you need outdoor decor now this sign it comes with three pieces and i at first i thought it was just one so that's what another that's what I'm saying like they really do give you a bang for your buck it's a snowman I think a moose and a Santa and they have lanterns that say joy that is perfect for the yard I can literally visualize that in someone's yard someone's yard and of course they have the large red truck it's not like I've seen one year it was years ago I saw a large red truck that you can actually get in and I said okay how much did this sucker cost it was it was like it was literally full size I don't think it was functional but it was a full size for a truck. I said, okay, whoever made this or whatever, they definitely up the ante. But I get the feeling, no, because I don't think that was an old truck. No, it wasn't an old truck, but you can do that. You can take an old truck you have, maybe one that is broken down, spray that sucker red or whatever color you want, buy a tree, put it in the back and make that your decor. You don't have to just have it sitting in your garage or whatever, put used to it. But anyway, this Christmas tree, they had the green Christmas tree. The bottom was like, a lit up stand so a lot of the stuff not a lot but some of the areas in the store I couldn't film the complete item I was trying to get because they were so packed in and layered like they weren't like super packed in if you're in there shopping but to film you have to squeeze through the cracks and then angle it up and angle it down so I did try my best I hope you can see to get the full video and get the full picture of every item as best as I could and I think for the most part everything is fine except for maybe one or two things you're gonna have to squint and use your imagination to get how it fully looks. I'm in love with this deer, but I actually saw a little baby version of that in Ross when I was shopping. I don't know if it's in my Ross video, go check that video out. I should have gotten that because I went back in there. I went I went just to see if I could get that tablecloth again. I couldn't get it. It's really going and they're not getting any in. But I was in there and they had a sleigh. It was in a reindeer. If the reindeer looked like this reindeer, it was much, much, much smaller. But it was definitely a small outdoor reindeer with a matching sleigh. I don't even know if I saw that in the first one. So I guess they got that in now. And I saw it in Mortimer Ross because I went Mortimer Run Ross because I really went that tablecloth. So they do have it in the stores. I don't know how long they're going to be there, but each location had it still. So I don't know why people aren't buying that. I can't talk because I myself did not buy that. <laughs> but I will say it is very, very cute. So if you wanted to go for that reindeer, but maybe one something smaller, go in the Ross because they had, it's, it, light, it lit up too. It, it lit up. You need a longer cord because the plug was short, but it definitely lit up. 
and they have the penguin. They're gonna have it, no matter where you go, there's gonna be penguins. I said in another video, penguins have taken over Christmas. Ever since the uh, penguins from Madagascar, it's just penguins all over the place. But I think it's pretty cute, and then honestly, I think they also do it is because of the North Pole. I didn't really see penguins before Madagascar. They had their Christmas specials, but I will say that penguins are probably representative of the North Pole, so that's why they really have them. And how awesome is this stack, Santa, Santa Snowman? At first I thought it was the one, and then when I kept walking out to look at it, I said, oh, two. And it's like, oh no, it's three, and it goes up really high, so it, it's definitely, you're gonna see that from a distance, and I thought it was so cute. And it also kind of looks like he's holding up the main, each snow, each snowman is holding up like a lantern or something, kind of with the way they're shaped, so that was definitely cool. I don't know what it is, but I am in love with gift box home decor. I love it. I don't have any. I went out the other day. I went on Black Friday to Hobby Lobby to try to get the gift boxes they had. They were, I love them. I even looked late Thursday on during Thanksgiving, and they were sold out. Everything I wanted, they were sold out. So I said, okay, well, I'm just going to go out on Black Friday, get there. They were, it was so many people in there, and 90% of the store was shopping at Christmas. And, of course, they didn't have anything I wanted. I was so devastated. I wanted two lamp posts. I wanted the fake gift boxes and it was something else I wanted and they didn't have it but I'm like you know what it is what it is I really want those if they get those back in I'm still gonna snatch them up but anyway they had some really nice stuff but those gift boxes here in Lowell's they're nice and they had there was three of them they all came together it wasn't individual they had large medium and small and I think that that I don't know if you can stack them I think that they were able to be moved around so you don't have to leave them in a placement that you see on display you can move it around and I want to say this dog was creepy <laughs> and I only want to say it was creepy because it looks so realistic when I first walked over because I was you know I'm paying attention to what I'm filming I try to sometimes I look ahead I always look ahead to make sure I'm not gonna run into anything or anything like that and I looked up and I saw the dog looking at me and I thought it was a real dog sitting up on there just hanging out for a quick second so they definitely made this realistic but it's the cutest little thing and the stocking is hanging out of the dog's mouth you can't really tell I guess because the string is so small but is definitely holding the stocking by a string. This wreath was massive. So when you get this, you have to have a very large place to put it. You cannot tell in this video, but it was huge. That's why they sat it on the side the way they did. So if you don't have a really large door or a really large wall you wanna put it in, then don't get that wreath because it's gonna swallow wherever you put it. It's good for maybe like if you have a small school or small business, put it outside of there because it'll be a larger space. But that thing was massive. And just a quick impress note, some of these signs, the prices didn't match the actual item. So that's why I try to make sure I put the price on the screen because I guess they moved, kept moving things around so much that the tags often didn't match. But you can tell they were supposed to be there. Just maybe it just got mushed together. I don't know. But some of the tags don't match. So don't pay attention to the price unless I put it up on the screen or unless you see that tag attached to that item or you pause it and you read the tag and you see it matches, the tag might not match. So just 
pause it and read it if you're not sure but i got all the prices up on the screen but if you want to do that that's how i suggest you make sure you have the right price And how gorgeous is this peacock? I don't know what peacocks have to do with Christmas, but how devastatingly gorgeous. I don't know why they have peacocks and then Macy's also has peacocks. I don't know, have peacocks I should say. I don't know if they're gonna try to make this a thing for Christmas, but it's very random and very odd. But honestly, this peacock is so nice and it's even nicer up close. The blue, that is, the glowing blue, oh my goodness, it is so nice. And if you do get the peacock collection from Macy's, you can go in Lowe's and then get the outdoor peacock and then keep up with the theme. That's very beautiful. I don't get what it has to do with Christmas, but it's very beautiful. And oh my goodness, I just realized I forgot the cardinal, <laughs> the cardinal list I wanted to read. That's okay, so yeah, I'll get to you. But that thing was beautiful. And then here we go with the, this was my favorite part of Lowe's day, outdoor decor because it reminded me of a light show that my city does. I loved everything about it and I know you'll like have most of the stuff up here too and this is when it starts getting a little tricky even trickier because everything was up so high but don't worry you'll be able to see it even if you don't see the price you can see the item for yourself to know if you want to go in the store and get it. The ho 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 has got to be paired with the Santa in here. I don't think you should get one and not get the other. I think it's a perfect match. Put the ho 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 up the path and then have the Santa stand right behind it. And the Santa is right here so you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like. But I loved it. And I think it's perfect to go as a pair. You can get them separately, but I think it would be better to get it as a pair. This reef shines so brightly, it reminds me of a like the North Star. So if you're looking for a North Star or something like that to put on your door, you can definitely get this and have it be like the star over the manger or something like that. It's very bright. I love these globes and when I saw that they spun I just kept spinning them. It's the red one and the green one. The green one's gonna come up, but I love the globes. I don't it's funny because I, I get with the I get the glow thing now because at first I was like why is, I, I never minded it but I'm like why is it always a globe or something somewhere somewhere but it's because Santa goes around the world duh so that's why the globes are kind of a thing for Christmas sometimes every now and then and I really like these and the fact that they spin it just that just takes it up although on a windy day that's probably going to annoy you <laughs> I know how I am I'll be worried that my stuff is just going to spin right off of his axle and fly off somewhere but I don't think they're going to do that I think you're good. The Nutcracker is probably my favorite. I like this most of all, and I noticed it. That was the first thing I noticed. This and the, I think the green wreath behind it, but I love it. And I think it's, most people don't usually put Nutcrackers on their lawns, I don't think. I usually see Snowman, Santa, Rainer, and all that, but I don't usually see Nutcrackers. The Nutcrackers seem to usually go in the house, not outside of the house, but I just, I really like that Nutcracker.
If you are looking for the little snow scenes, you have got to come to Lowe's. You don't have to go anywhere else but Lowe's. They all move or light up in some form or fashion. You got the blimp, the little air 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 balloon that goes around, like you know the little blimp rods they used to have. You got the Ferris wheel. It they did a they did a good job here. So anything you need, come here. It, the prices range from like 100 and something to 19 and something. So it's gonna be the smaller ones up to the really huge ones. These were so nice. I got the I glimpsed all of them and I got the prices for all of the ones that had the prices displayed so you can see what you like, get an idea of the price and go and get it. I definitely recommend coming here and getting them because they have so, such a variety. Usually it's kind of like two or three, but honestly Rite Aid has a huge variety too. So no one Rite Aid next week so you'll be able to see it. They have a lot of these type of things and you never would have guessed it and all of their saying. So there you go. Come in Lowe's or go on Rite Aid. like two maybe even just one that weren't lit up but all of these light up the ones that weren't lit I don't know what was I don't think they were connected yet because I was able to pick them up so they weren't yet connected and there weren't weren't any batteries in them so one of them I tried to do the tester and I couldn't but all of them light up none of them just sit there they light up and half of them move so no matter which one you get you're going to need batteries to operate them Feeling jolly eating Christmas cake and then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace This section over here just gave me like that old timey Christmas feel with all the older decorations. It's not a bad thing. It's just, it really reminds me of retro Christmas from like maybe the 80s and possibly even a few items from like the 50s and 60s. I like wanted like a tree for some reason reminds me of Miracle on 54th Street. I think I got the name of that movie right. I always get the street wrong, ironically, and that's what it's named after. But I love the old timey feel. It just seemed like back when decor was even more simple. I love how it's all detailed and everything now, so it's not a bad thing. But it's just, it just reminds me of like the simple, old fashioned, it's gonna last you for decades, you can pass that down to your kids type of decor. And that's a good feeling to have during Christmas. Something familiar and traditional.
now we're getting into like the Mickey collection, the Mickey Outdoor collection, and I think the Grinch, they had a lot of stuff. Mickey just took over Christmas too. My sister is a huge Mickey, Christmas Mickey fan. She bought some Christmas Mickey stuff the other day, but they have a lot of large items, and they have Minnie with some of them. They have the Grinch, they have, they don't have, no, they have that too. Okay, so like this is just all Mickey. They have, they had everything sectioned off. You can see how it's going, like the, one I said is like more like the old fashioned. They had that section. This section was pretty much just Disney. I'll, I'll say this is the Dis Disney section, even though it was overwhelmingly just Mickey. And then the other section was just like the traditional characters of Christmas, like Snowman. Uh, they didn't have a Frosty actually, like Santa and all that. So this has everything, and it has like a lot of lights in it. Like the Mickey collection has a lot of smaller lights and all that. But you'll see. We'll, you'll see. We're going through it now. And I liked pretty much everything. They have a huge joy sign you're gonna see, but the joy is kind of hidden. I really wanted you to be able to see it. I tried to get on my tiptoes and everything, but it's like a lot of wreath, not a lot, but like the wreath, they're shaped like Mickey's head. So this is definitely a cool section. I want the Grinch one of this. I didn't see the one that I really like in this world. I saw it in another one, but it was so cute and it was so cool. But then I noticed that one of them was broken. So I said, well, I, you know, I was just curious how it broke. But it was, I put, I pressed my finger on one that wasn't broken and it bends pretty easily. Not like easy, easy, you do have to put a little force, but it bends a lot more easily than I would have thought. But then I figured, you know what, if it's just sitting on your porch or on your lawn, it shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue because what's, what's landing on it. So I don't think you have to worry about that. But I will say the Mickey head, this right here, I thought it was fabulous. It reminded me like of a dance floor, like at a wedding, they put the light on. I love that one. So these, I think they're, they're not, I thought they were going to be like glass, but then I said, you know what? Maybe it's better than not glass because something hitting it will probably break it even easier. They're more more along the lines of a plexi, not a plexi, maybe a, a hard plastic, a bendable plastic. But it's not cheap material. But I just the fact that they had broke, I feel like somebody might have dropped it and stepped on it. So that shocked me. That's the only reason I mentioned that because I thought they would made a different material. But you'll be fine. It's not like this is going to crumble because you pick it up or because you look at it or anything like that. So this is actually on the wall. As you see me panning up, I tried to get the what it looks like on the wall as best I could. But you definitely can see it if you go in the store. All the stuff that's beneath, like the large lighted stuff that I'm showing you now, they're down low. So you can see what it looks like up there, and then you can actually see the box and all that type of stuff. But I like that they put things that are only available online. They still put them on display in the store. So when you go in the store, you can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. You can see the size, material, if it's light, you can see the lights are used and all that. So some of the stuff in here is online only, but the majority of the stuff is available in stores. It's just like the bigger lighted ones. Those are the ones that you might have to order online because they don't carry them in the store.
Okay, so this is the section with the retro characters. I thought it was mixed in with Mickey, but it wasn't. This is it right here with like the Island of Misfits, the Grinch, Frosty, the Bottom of a Snowman. That's where all of this was. So they have it. And like I said, everything is sectioned off really well. So you can see what you're getting. You can go in and grab it if you want. It keeps with the same theme. So if you wanted to have, usually a lot of people want to decorate, they want to have the same theme. If you only want to keep Mickey, you can go straight to Mickey. If you only want like Island of Misfits and the Grinch and stuff, you can come straight here. If you want like dogs and gift boxes, you go to the other section. Very easy to shop and very well displayed. You can see it clear as day when you're in the store. Even if it's a little difficult, you need to try to get the whole thing in store, you're perfectly fine. And then this here is all the stuff that's up high. This is what it looks like in the box. I wanted to make sure you could see it since I couldn't really get all of them clearly on video, but you can still see what it looks like as I zoom in on the boxes. And here's where the lighted path decor is. Now, in my opinion, you can also use lighted decor on the roof, if, as long as it can be displayed properly and you can plug it in safely, because it really, I mean, the gist of it is it goes in, up in a row. So I feel like you can take it, and if you can, you can just sit it sideways, or you can even display it in the same pattern on top of a roof. Like if you wanted to have Santa landing on, landing on your roof, you can take those snowflakes, line them up, and make it seem like it's a lighted path that Santa's following to come and land on your roof. You can definitely do a lot of things with those. And you can put them up in any, not any area actually, but you can definitely, in my opinion, put it on the roof. I just feel like I would, if I had, if I decorated on my roof, I don't decorate on my roof. I feel like that would be a good thing. Like a star, put stuff for the major scene, put stuff for Santa, Frosty, whatever you want to do. I think that's a good idea. And here is where all the smaller inflatable items are. They have the huge ones. They had to go on top of the shelves, and I'm putting that in their Christmas tree video. But these are like all the small ones. They have the tiny little mini baby ones, and then they have the bigger ones. I think the biggest ones that are actually on the racks are up to six and a half feet. So they're nice sizes. And but I also like thinking now. I don't remember how big the really large inflatable inflatables were, but I think the large ones on the racks aren't that different in price from the large ones that they had on top of the racks which is weird because those inflatables were way bigger now the ones they had outside no they the price jumped which is understandable but that's interesting that the price ranges aren't that different despite the fact there's a huge different in, difference in prices i don't know why it is but anyway they have baby yoda baby yoda has been all the rage this fall season and now clearly this christmas season and i just learned that baby yoda is from a show i don't like star wars fight me i know i'm a star trek fan but i'm surprised because I thought it was from a movie. All this time I thought Baby Yoda was from a movie. I don't I don't know anything about the um, newer movies. I've seen the older ones. 
So I thought Baby Yoda was from the new movies, but turns out, no, it's from a show. So if you like Baby Yoda, they have a inflatable Baby Yoda. They have an inflatable nativity scene. I have never seen an inflatable nativity scene. No, actually, I think I've seen it once and it was blown in the wind so bad, but I thought that was like so cool. I've never seen it before. I've seen, no, that's actually, they, were, they weren't inflatables. Like I've seen, you know, we've all seen a nativity scene, but I haven't seen an inflatable one. Now, my question is, are inflatables really safe to have in the winter? I've never used them before. I'm asking like, do you trust inflatables? I'll, I since I've never had one in my mind, I'm like they're just gonna blow away, and, or they're just gonna get punctured. Like I've seen people use them. Like this Halloween, this one display somebody had. My name, um, they lived a couple blocks away. I kept thinking, isn't that gonna blow away? Isn't that gonna get punctured? Are they sure they wanna have that? And nothing ever happened to it. So are inflatables really a secure thing to have? I'm curious. I'm, I'm ignorant to it because I've never had it before. Got some inflatables I see. I'm like they're cute, and I would get that. But then I'm worried about. A heavy gust of wind just coming and just taking it off because I had plants like I, I bought different I ended up buying a different plant during the fall I had it on my porch and we had heavy heavy winds one day and it snapped them branches right on down and I looked out the window the next day and I opened up the curtains to get the sunlight in and my poor plant looked like it had been beat up so bad like it just got beat up stomped kicked and everything and it hit me I'm like oh the, the branches got snapped in the wind and I'm like and if it does it to a plant and that's supposed to be outside what would it do to an inflatable display but I'm, ass I'm assuming they're fine because people still buy them Although Lowell's is obviously going to be known for their outdoor decor because it's a, it's a hardware store, I, was, I actually thought their indoor decor was nice too. I didn't expect them to have any indoor decor, but except for like maybe pillows, but they had some stuff and it was actually cute. And I thought it was, it's something you can find in stores that even, you know, that are more dedicated to decor in the home because Lowell's is more dedicated to out of the home. So I thought it was some cute stuff. It's things you can definitely use, some stuff that I think you can put in your office. I think some of the medium sized items in Lowell's is really good if you have a business or even if you just have uh, an office or a cubicle space, not a cubicle. Well, these actually, no, these reindeers can go in your, your cubicle. I just think, I know, I just think workplace whenever when I was in here like in watching this video I'm just thinking work you can put this in your place of business you can put this where you work if you have the right display like even if you work like um they were doing construction on the trains they they're redoing the station and which they've been doing for a couple of years it's blocking traffic but they've been doing the station 
Um, and every Christmas, they had when they when they were using the crane, they would literally hang an entire royal Christmas tree, fully decorated from the crane. So if even if you work in construction, you can get some of this stuff and you can liven up your construction space because the fact that they had a huge Christmas tree dangling from a crane during Christmas time, you can do anything on a construction site. And when I was standing in that area, I always look up. I'm like, it's I like the way it looked. I thought it was cute. I liked that they had it, but I was always like, that thing is swaying in the wind um, i didn't even know that they could like leave it like that but i guess it doesn't matter but you can definitely do up any space uh, with the right imagination you can do any space and make it a winter wonderland Is it just me or are these little RVs starting to slowly trickle in and compete with the little red trucks? The little red trucks aren't even just red trucks now. They do them in all different colors now. But I'm noticing this RV is sneaking up. I saw it during the fall and I'm seeing it during Christmas. I see it a lot during Christmas now. Let me find out the RV's about to take the place of the red truck. Oh, didn't see that coming. All right, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this Lowe's video. I'm going to post the Christmas tree video and the large inflatable video right away. Again, it's going to be very quick. I'm not even doing narration on that. So I hope you saw what you like. I hope you like what you saw. After the Lowe's Christmas tree video, the next one is going to be Big Lots. I'm excited for that one. They had some really nice stuff in there. With that being said, I'm your hostess and empress, Nikki T. Thanks for visiting my empire. Deuces.